Hey folks! Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use custom functions in Flutterflow. So let's create a project and let's use FlutterMet as a template. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the department highlights page. So as we can see, we have this object end date, which really just takes the raw value that it gets from the API without doing any kind of interesting formatting. And as we can see in, in run mode, let's go to one of these departments. This number does not look particularly nice when it's laid out here. Really, this should say something along the lines of 900 AD and 338 BC. But currently, this isn't possible. So what we'll do is we'll go here, object end date, and we'll actually choose to set this from a custom function. So we'll do set from variable. Currently, this is, you know, gets the art piece response, JSON path, and uses the object end date JSON path. We, we can just save this. Um, instead, we're going to use a custom function, function name, and we'll create a new function here. If you already have an existing function, you'll see a list of them here. And we'll call this function format and date. So we'll want it to return a string, the displayed formatted end date. And then function argument, all we need really is an integer, which is the end date year. And that's really all we need. So let's go write this function. So we have the end date year, and now we'll just have to write our code. So if end date year is greater than zero, we can return end date year AD. Otherwise, we'll return BC. Okay. And actually, let's make one more change because we'll want to display the absolute value so that it's a positive number. Otherwise, it would show up as minus 400 BC, which doesn't make sense. So we'll hit save. And now we're using this. And now we need to set our function arguments. So our argument here is end date year. And so as we had before, we're going to spe specify it from variable. It's the object end date that we had here previously. So this is the art piece response, JSON path. And we'll just copy in what we had earlier. And now we've set our end date year. And this should return the formatted end date when we actually run it. Cool. So let's real quick just see how this works. Actually, one thing we need to do before is we haven't validated our function, right? Because really, we could have anything in here. Uh, looks like we have an error in our function. And if we go into the code, we can show the error here. OK, so this function absolute value is not defined in math. That's my mistake. Turns out what it really is is end year date dot absolute value. This is how it works in Dart. OK, so now that we've fixed our errors, um, let's, let's check this again just to make sure it works. And lo and behold, no errors. It, it compiles just fine. So perfect. Let's go back to the UI builder and let's run this Mamma Jamma. OK, and now if we go back to the same department, we can see that the dates are now formatted correctly. So our custom function worked. OK, so that was fun. But let's try a more advanced use case. So let's say that I only want to display each art piece if it's from before 500 BC. What we could do is on each object, we can set its visibility. So we want the visibility to be true when the date is before 500 BC. OK, so we'll go into here. 
And if you guys haven't seen this already, you know, vis visibility is a pretty useful little feature that kind of allows us to turn off and on different items in, in your page based on whatever values or variables you have at the time. So right now it's unset. And we are going to want to set the visibility again from a new custom function. So we'll create a new one. So we'll say show art piece. And it will return, it has to return a Boolean. So this will either be true or false. Um, and that will be based on, on the year. So we'll add another argument. And again, this is the end date. And once again, this is an integer. So once more, we'll go into code and define our function here. And in this case, the function is pretty straightforward. All we want to do is return end date is less than minus 500. So we only want to show items for which the end date is before 500 BC. So this will return true if it's before that. And therefore the visibility will be true when this is the case. And so we'll go ahead, let's just, let's just check it real quick after my last mishap. Okay, I'm good to go this time. And hit save. And now it's populated here. Once again, we have to do this end date from the same variable as before. Okay. And now let's test out our function once again. Okay, so now let's go to our department and voila. As we can see, the page only shows art pieces from before 500 BC. So our function worked again. You can always go back and edit your custom functions in this custom functions tab where you can edit, delete, or even show them in line. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.